What's going on, my truckers? Uh, welcome to my truck news. Email us at my truck news at gmail.com. You know, uh, people have been emailing me like crazy, but I've been trying to get this uh, booth together at the Florida Trucking Show. And so, you know, I just want to bring this to everyone's attention. You know, uh, CEO of JB Hunt, man, big announcement. JB Hunt signs multi year deal with Walmart and acquires their container fleet. It states here the deal will bolster a truck rail operation that the carrier's big business segment by revenue so what they're talking about here is we know that jb hunt had that big announcement with uh, bnsf a railway and uh, basically they had this thing called quantum and they want to build up that relationship and put more of their shipments from truck to rail right and now they just bought all of walmart's intermodal as well so Man, this truck rail operation at JB Hunt is growing like crazy. It states here, the company said Thursday that the new agreement on intermodal in which shipments are moved in combined truck and rail operations will deepen their ties, increasing the amount of volume capacity commitments between JB Hunt and Walmart. JB Hunt said it has worked closely with Walmart for decades. Now, quote unquote, today's announcement is a testament to the mutual trust and shared vision our companies had developed over time, said Spencer Frazier, executive vice Vice President of Sales and Marketing at J.B. Hunt. Back in 2022, uh, J.B. Hunt says that their goal was to get up to 150,000 boxes over the following three years. And the company said at the end of 2023 that they were at 118,171 containers during the fourth quarter. So by buying Walmart's intermodal containers and chassis, they're on their way to that 150,000 box goal. You know, my truckers, overall, what are your thoughts about this? You know, we know that Walmart pays better than JB Hunt. And so when Walmart drivers were on that intermodal run, they were getting paid pretty well, I'm sure. You know, now that JB Hunt is taking it over, what does that mean for Walmart drivers? Over time, does that mean that they lose their, you know, positioning? You know, my truckers comment down below. Would love to hear from JB Hunt drivers. Would love to hear from Walmart intermodal drivers. And tell me, what are your thoughts about this news? What's going on, mother truckers? So, you know, uh, I'm going to the Florida Trucking Show. And so I'll see you guys there. But, you know, my booth is pretty darn empty. And I don't want it to be empty. So I rolled over to uh, South Florida, Kenworth uh, at All Roads and hooking up with my guy Miguel and they're gonna bring two trucks over for me so that my booth can look a little bit more trucking. All I gotta say man, when you're in a clutch and you need somebody, you gotta have a homie man because I, hey, I was about to roll in there with like a, a broke down Ikea table. With a 300, right? With your 300? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dude, I should, hey. You he was gonna park the 300. Hey, I might as well park my 300. With, with, with a trailer hitch on it, put a trailer hitch on the 300. <laughs> but man, you know, uh, you know, appreciate my boy Miguel, man. You guys seen him on the podcast, the YouTube channel, man. We doing it big, and you know, he's out here at South Florida Kenworth at All Roads, and hey, I appreciate you, man. You know, uh, just hooking it up, bro. You know, always coming in clutch for me, bro. Yeah. Well, I gotta give a shout out to my bosses, All Roads Trucks. <laughs> shout out to Jim Reeves. Of course, this doesn't happen without his. It was uh, a without his okay. Hey, real talk, like we just like I just rolled up on you. I texted you this morning. And you're like, I don't know, bro. I might have to call somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to call somebody. You know, I don't own these trucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Plug it in. So, this is one of my, like, best friends right here. It, as adults, if you could say best friends. Uh, you know, we own now. We own now. But how long have you been uh, uh, selling Kenworths and trucks, man? I've been selling trucks for about... 20, man, I'm going to show my age right now. About 26, 27 years, something like that. You know, so how have these trucks changed, brother? When I first started trucks, I started out at a place called Arrow Truck Sales in New Jersey. And it was all used trucks. So there was a, you know, I felt like, I didn't know it at the time, but it was a great beginning. I'll tell you why. Because it exposed you to all the brands. Yeah. And it, it, it didn't allow you to have favorites. You know what I mean? Right. You know, for you as a used truck sales guy, I mean, you don't, Kenworth, Freightline, it doesn't matter what the people buy, you know what I mean? They just want them to buy from you. you know? Right. <laughs> so, when you switch over to new trucks and you, you know, you start selling a brand and things like that, it's a little different because 
you, you start to, you know, create loyalty. You know what I mean? Yeah. What made me start selling Kenworth from the beginning was when I started selling trucks at Arrow, out of all the trucks I've sold, I sold, I sold everything, Freightliner, Volvo, everything back then, back when, back when 300 horsepower was big time, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know, back when 300 horsepower was big time, when Volvos weren't Volvos, they were whites. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, back then, Kenworth just became my favorite brand, reason being is because when you sold the other brands, you could almost guarantee somebody's coming back for something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you sell a used truck, you know, you know how it is with used trucks. But when I sold the Kenworth, I had the least amount of comebacks. I had the least amount of problems. I always had the least amount of stuff. Plus to mention they were, you know, beautiful trucks, you know what I mean? I mean Especially back then. Well, what did it seem like like when the W900s came back uh, back then? That, that was a beast, is. right? The W900s were, you know, they were big time then. I mean, it was big time then, the W900. Still is. Still is big time, you know what I mean? Now we have the 990, stuff like that. But, you know, the 900 was was a big time truck, you know, then. You know, the T, back then was the T600. The 600s, you know, weren't the beauty of the road. A lot of people call them the ant eaters. <laughs> yeah. But, aerodynamically, they were good trucks. You know, uh, they were they were good trucks and tough trucks. I mean, if you ever uh, watch the show, there was used to be a show called logging and it's you know about tree guys and, you know going through tough terrain with big trees and stuff like that probably about at least half of those guys all had cameras you know what i mean because cameras you know just that kind of truck you know what i mean for that kind of work you know so over the years that's how when i first came to florida i i was fortunate that i had an opportunity to work in a lot of different dealerships you know what i mean i was you know pretty accomplished so I chose Kenworth just because I felt like it's easier to sell something you believe in rather than just sell something for money. Hey, hey guys, you know, I want to sleep well too tonight. So let me just shout out my girl real quick, you know. Oh, how you must go. <laughs> I love you. Oh. Hi, Jennifer. I love you, Mama. Oh, <laughs> Hey man, all I gotta say is we were talking about you. You know, uh, Steam It Truck Wash, my man Jose at the 595 Truck Stop is one of my really good friends. And from the beginning, he let me shoot segments here. Back in the day, remember those? A couple of years ago. Right? Yeah, man, back in the day. And I remember when you told me, man, I wanna open up another garage door. So and look, here dude. We are. Look, we got, we got what? Where we started. Yeah, he did the Kedworth for us here. And now, what's the second door for, bro? Uh, it's mainly for washouts and express services. I know we have a lot of guys that come through, they have to go for a pickup, um, you know, a short time. Instead of having to wait an hour, hour and a half outside like it used to be before, now we have a special bay for you guys to come in and knock you out pretty quick. I love it, man. So uh, where uh, can they contact you guys? Uh, our phone number is 786-241-5031. Uh, we're located at the 595. I love it, man. So let's go over on this side. So what are they about to do? Uh, we are bringing a full detail into this bay right here. We're gonna do a basic wash outside, frame, engine, uh, D-batch, and we're gonna do a full interior detail. You know, he had things to do today. I, I texted him and said, hey man, uh, can I bring you some trucks? Cause this is the only place I would go if I'm in South Florida, man. Right. Come out to Steam and Truck Wash, man. Uh, he's a real friend, he's a real brother. And so he's always supported me. And so he's like, man, you need some clean trucks for the Florida Trucking Show? I got you, man. This is the place to be. Hey, <laughs> let's go, brother. What would you say is one of the biggest challenges, one of the biggest differences between washing a Class A truck and washing just somebody's regular car? That's a good question. Uh, I think the biggest uh, difference is how much time these trucks are on the road versus a car. We try to bring them in. We do an all-hand wash. So we spray down our chemicals, we get down and dirty, we clean the truck, got a big crew, and we just want to get you back on the road. I love it, man. I appreciate you. All I got to say, mother truckers, 
is you know you got to support small businesses. When we got the owner out here saying, hey, Alex, man, we want to make this look nice for you. You mind if I tire shine this myself? You know, he's successful. He has a crew, but he wanted to put his touches on. And, and that's what's great about supporting, you know, the little guys, man. Always. The owner themselves will do things from the top to the bottom. They, they ain't one thing I know Jose would ever ask someone to do that he wouldn't do himself. That's, that's 100%. Yeah. I love you, brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, my guy getting the wheels for me, man. You, I appreciate you, man. You're welcome. Uh, also, we're also uh, offering uh, polishing now. We polish wheels, tanks, grills. Uh, we do it by appointment, so you guys can always give us a shout. We'll give you a time and give you a good deal. Definitely at the end of this video, couldn't make this booth happen without my guy Miguel at All Roads and his awesome bosses, Andy Franklin and Jim Reeves at All Roads. And also my guys at the Mecca Truck Chrome, Mara and Eric for coming through, helping me out. Uh, a special guest appearance from my guy, Mikey. You know, I love you, brother. And, you know, just anyone that has supported the journey, you know, that I've had. And I just appreciate everybody so much. So, Thank you.